Dr. Ibe Ezekiel is the man in charge at Swiss Metro uh, Tylers, which is the first Swiss tech industry. And they are in the business of creating high tech quality stone coated roof tiles and luxury Turkish doors and interior water collection for any building project. And he's joining us this morning on our SME segment to talk about this business and how he started out. Uh, good to have you join us uh, this morning. Morning. Thank you. You know, we much. usually do this uh, as a way of um, inspiring other business owners, people who are about to go into business okay. uh, on what to think about, what to look out for, what not to do when you're starting a business. But tell us your story and how you started uh, this uh, business. Mm -hmm. The good thing is um, we love doing business. Uh, I read Biz Admin during the time of my school days. And uh, I'm the kind of person that really likes to sit down, define what I want to do before I delve into it. Mm -hmm. When we want to go into the industry of building materials, we first of all sit down and analyze the challenges that Nigeria is having today, maybe especially when it comes to roofing. We notice that a lot of aluminiums we have today is fading. Some of them are leaking. And um, we want to introduce this um, stone coated roofing ties, though it has been existing before we dive into the business. But unfortunately, so many of the things we are having then is equally fading away. It is luxury, it is costly, but the quality is not there. So first of all, what we do is to look at how can we get a very good quality because we want to build a brand, not only building a brand, but building a brand that will last for a very longer period of time. I want to see that we have a lot of customers that have our that are brand loyalty mm -hmm. to whatever thing we present. So we go for a search for um, getting a very good stone coat roof in ties that we're able to endure the test of time and then that will be able to be luxury and equally affordable mm -hmm. because uh, that is what Nigeria needs. They need good quality and at a good rate. Mm -hmm. Hence, we say to um, dive into the business, make sure that the productions are well made, bring them down here, get the company incorporated, and just started to fill in the need mm. of uh, giving Nigerians a quality stone coated roofing ties. And good thing, we have been existing for about 10 years, oh, okay. and our works are there to speak for ourselves uh, that uh, we have been selling a quality roofing ties, and um, we have equally built a brand that we can be proud of today. So uh, you, you, when you started 10 years ago, I mean, there, there would have been uh, maybe challenges that you saw. Uh, I know that you said you, you did a lot of planning before yeah, you went, went yeah, in. Yeah. Or what did you, with, with the, apart from, you know, the fact that you, you looked at uh, the, the fact that um, a lot of the tiles that were being used in the buildings faded and all of that, what were the other specific challenges in business in general that you, that you found? Uh, in business, just look, said, uh, first of all, look at what you want to do, look at locations. We've tried to look at our brands, we build them, still coated roofing ties. Swiss metal roofing ties today nationwide uh, is well known for their quality. And um, another thing we try to see again is to maintain what we are doing. Because to some people, you find out that they got started well, but they don't continue. Mm. Uh -huh. We will try to make sure that our standard, instead of going down, continue to go up. And that is why all the people who have used Swiss Metro ties today, most of our sales today are referrals. You use it, it's good for you, you refer us. Mm. That is what we want to build and continue on that. Mm. So, and uh, for you to do so, you must be honest. You, cannot, you are not only honest from the people you are dealing with, equally to the customers, because we believe that we owe them that honesty, we owe them that good quality, we owe them that continuity, and making sure that they are well satisfied. Mm. Uh, we, we did not only sell, we make sure that we go after to ask them how are you doing about this, how are your maintenance. In fact, we give them maintenance free of two years. And even in some instances where we are not even involved, we try to make sure that we go give them solutions mm. and they quickly get it fixed. Mm. Customer satisfactions is number one mm. in Swiss Metro. So, so let's talk about uh, the, when you do your staffing, because I know that uh, when you're in, in this kind of business, yeah. uh, installation is one of the big things, and one of the big areas. The fact yeah. that uh, you sell something to someone, the person is not going to go home and install it himself. Thank you. So uh, how do you ensure that the people that work with you are well-trained, continue to be honest, uh, and yeah. you, you put integrity at, at the top of... That uh, is a thing. First of all, we look at the people who have the same vision and mission with us. 
uh, because uh, if you are working, like I used to tell some of my friends, you can build a lot of structures just like we've done in various parts of Nigeria, but structures are not the people working. They are the workers. Mm. So you should be able to, first of all, look at the workers who have the same vision and the same mission with you, and then you give them training so they will be able to work. And so to our installers, we make our time, we train them, we teach them, knowing that, yes, uh, there's no way I can go on top of the roof to start installing. But whenever they do what is there, if they do it bad, I take the responsibility. So knowing that the magnitude of the responsibility facing me, just for example, two, three, four, five, six buildings is leaking at the same time and they're calling me is a headache. So for us to solve that, we must give them the necessary training and we must make sure that as they are going, we have supervisors who equally go to the sites from one side to the other, from one side to the other, to make sure that they are well installed and our customers are satisfied. Let's talk about um, employment because, yeah. you know, uh, we live in a country now that they said youth and unemployment and young people is very high. You know, uh, so if someone, if a young person came to you and they said, said to you that, okay, I don't have a job, uh, I, I'm looking to to work. What would be the first thing you would say to them if, if you wanted to? Or what What would be the first thing you would look out for if you wanted to hire a young person as as a staff? Um, I always say it. Uh, we look out for people who have dedication, who have passion for what they do, because that's the problem we are having in this country. I'm sorry to say this. Mm -hmm. So many people want to make it in life, but they don't want to work hard. People want to sit down while they wait, play around, and at the end of the month, they want to get paid. Life did not start like that. You need to be dedicated. You need to have sense of ownership. Yes, this is not my company, but we are working there. If you have good sense of ownership, it is going to translate in whatever thing you do. The passion is going to be seen by one and all. Mm. And I've told them, when, you, when the thing transcends like that, you equally find out that you are not only working for me, but people who equally come and visit, people who are my friends, people who are seeing you being dedicated to your work, and equally call you for work. All you need to tell me, sir, ah, I get another job. We pray for progress. Mm. What is the problem? Maybe we're paying you 150,000, I pay me 200. If I can afford it, fine. I say I can afford it. If I can afford it, we wish you well, mm. because we want everybody to grow. But if you don't have that passion, if you don't have that dedication, if you don't have that sense of ownership, I wonder how the person will grow. So that is what I keep telling them. All our staff, we don't only really see them as staff, but we see them as brothers, younger brothers, younger sisters who wish they can grow up and all of us have become useful to the entire society. Now, let's talk about someone who's watching now and they say, you know what, 2020 is around the corner, I want to start my own business. And I've seen this successful business by Mr. Ezekiel, and I'm saying to myself, I think it's time for me to, to start out on my own uh, yeah. as well. What would you say, what would you be your best advice to a new business owner, somebody who's about to start? And the first thing I will advise is for the person to look out for the kind of business he wants to do. Mm. It is good for one to go for what he likes doing. Some people will ask me, I say, think first, what do you like doing? In whatever thing you do virtually in Nigeria, there is money. It depends on dedication and the passion. So when you first of all notice that, you go for the knowledge. Get the knowledge. And when you get the knowledge, another thing that matters the most is honesty. So many people are lacking in honesty. And that is why they did not make it. I will tell you, I, did not, I was not born from a rich family. Mm. I started from the scratch. But one thing that has helped us and continue to help us to today is honesty. I give it for example, maybe you are selling this book. A boy, a young man comes to you and says, sir, please can I have this book? He said, okay, uh, how much is 20 naira? Take it. He go and sell and return the money. Mm. Maybe within a day he come up to 10 times. You yourself will say, why not carry a carton to stop doing? He sell a carton and return. Why not carry 100 cartons? So many people today are rich. Like us, we're looking for distributors. Mm. But who will you give these goods that will sell and return your money? That's the problem. Mm. You'll be talking to so many people. The day you're saying, I want to give you the goods, you have started to think how I will start molding the block. Mm. And then you say this one, a mold block. The house will not finish. They will start calling the ancestors that the people that are bewitching them. You are bewitching yourself. So honesty is the key. Mm. If you're honest and people are able to see it, you are transparent, you're honest, they will give you one for a trial. They will give you two for a trial. Before you know it, you are made. That is how I got started. And I keep telling people that that honesty is first thing. Get the knowledge, what you have, what you like doing, the knowledge, and where you want to do. Build a brand. 
building a brand is another thing. Because if you want to build a brand, you should be able to ask yourself, where do you want to? Because there are, there are, lot, there are bound to be a lot of um, challenges. Mm. People will be coming with equally inferior materials, just like we are doing. But you remain steadfast because you know where you are going. Yeah. People are going like this, going like this, going like this. You don't go, they are go down with them because if somebody is going down, there will be an end. Mm. And if you eventually reach the end, will you return again? No, you are going like that. Wow. So Thank create so a much. standard and stick to it. Mm. It is going to be challenging. They will be making sales. With time, people will know a good quality, go to Swiss Metritize. Thank quality, you so much, uh, Mr. Ezekiel. Metritize.